commanded the stage you're the first person to come out here and really feel like you love to be on the stage I believed you I believe that you feel lucky I think appearance wise you may need a makeover and that's not even a bad thing that's just telling you some things to make you better but I felt like I was looking at an artist not a contestant you entertained me and um, it was a great performance thank, thank you so much all right thank you David Bennett, David Bennett. All right, stand by everyone. Did he like my song? I don't know. I've, I've been watching him since I was a kid. And to be standing in front of him and he listening to my song and he said it was good and, and he said that I was a performer. And I just, everything I dream about him saying about me, he just said about me. So I just gotta, um, I just gotta stay focused and, and keep believing myself because sometimes, sometimes I don't. Three, two, and cue. If the karma's gonna get you, it's gonna knock you right on the head. You better put yourself together. Soon enough, you're gonna be dead. Do it, do it 100%. Alright? Yeah. Thank you. Ouch. I think the nerves got to me. I should be used to getting surprises and playing on the spot, but this time it got to me. I don't know who's gonna go home. I just don't want it to be me. David. I was like, wow, Diddy's just giving me a straight stare this whole time. I'm just like, I suck. I felt like going into this, I had so much confidence, and now I just feel like I've been punched in the face. I did not get a very good comment from Diddy. I have no idea who's going to him right now, but I just hope it's not me. 
Monet, step up. Loriana, step up. Melody, step up. After seeing y'all perform tonight, I can honestly say that you guys are growing in your own ways. Um, keep it up. Make sure that you pick the right songs. You take your performances seriously. Y'all are going to be able to move back into the house. Thank you. Todd, step up. I'm Mateo, step up. You two guys are the same artists that were on this stage the last time I left. And I don't think you guys are pushing yourselves. So I'm going to tell you, what reason would you tell me why I should sign you to Bad Boy Records? I have a different aura, you know, different light that a lot of people don't have. The audience connects to me. They feel me. They understand what I'm saying. We don't have greats like Joe Levert anymore. We don't have Luther Vandross anymore. You know, people that could go up there with, with the Stop big right there, man. Just... Stop right there. Why don't we have those two greats? They died. Why did they die? They died for... Um, Why did they die? Health reasons. So you know all that information and you're going to keep on living your life the way you're living your life and you're going to say their names up here on this stage after you looked me in my face and you told me that you was going to work out, you was going to get focused. Yeah. And so you're a liar. No, I'm not a liar. I did but you told out. me that then. Yes. So you told me that and you didn't do it. I did work out. I didn't know that that was supposed to be like, you know, every... You're I supposed, to supposed to change your help. lifestyle. Change your lifestyle. If it wasn't for your voice, you wouldn't be safe another week. But because of your voice, you are safe another week. But as you go home tonight and you wake up tomorrow, think about Luther Vandross and Gerald Levert and why they're not here. Go backstage. Thank you. What's up, Todd? Uh, Why should I sign you to Bad Boy Records? I love performing. I think I bring a lot of energy to the table. And uh, if Bad Boy's looking for something different, I think I can offer that. I think we're looking for something different. But as a label, we want something that we feel we can make great. And I just don't see you taking any risks. I want to see you evolve. I want to see that star that you could become. So you are safe another week. You go backstage. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Now, Chris, you have so much confidence, you have so much swag, and it just doesn't come across on stage. I was the audience today, and you didn't give me anything. I don't think you'll be successful until you realize, being an artist, you have to be able to give. It's not just going to come to you. Liz, you know, when I first saw you, I felt you had a lot of potential. If anything, I think you went backwards. You have the biggest hill to climb because you're coming from the country music standpoint. I don't know why you'd be dressed like an old lady on an off day. David Bennett, I don't think that you went all out. You know, watching you just sometimes, I don't know what to feel. I'm a little confused. It makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. I, I don't know. I'm going to let the judges figure it out. Do it 100% or don't do it. You can go to the back. Thank you. Now, Liz, what happened today? I was scared, and for the first time that I've ever been on stage, the nerves showed. You know, I, I wasn't feeling well, I haven't been feeling well this week, and I shouldn't have let it show, but I did. And I'm going to do better, because I know I'm a performer. Christopher John? Um, basically, well, I mean, I didn't come out and own it, like you said. Um, I just came out here and, you know, didn't show all that I have to offer. Well, Christopher John, you won't be moving back into the house today. Liz, step it up. All right, thank y'all. God bless. I wanted to stay and, you know, show what I have to offer and be a part of Bad Boy. But Diddy has a vision. Today, I didn't fit what he wanted to bring into Bad Boy. 
I feel like I am a star. I have a lot of room for improvement, though, as well. So I'm going to go home and work on it to be at the level, you know, that Diddy expected me to be.